we got a fun one to start with today. 3030 or uh, 30th anniversary edition. She's all stock at the moment. We got a uh, exhaust that's going to be going on it. You guys will get to see that. But, um, I'm very excited to see what this thing will do and put down. Uh, the 21 uh, made some really good numbers, made it over 200 horsepower, so I'm expecting to see that today. A whopping 152 horsepower not uh, not a whole lot these things are heavily heavily restricted and uh, now we're gonna get to see what it makes with a full system I am NOT gonna do a de-restricted stock exhaust um, we're just gonna get straight after it I got a lot of work to do and I got to get it all done in one day all the air exhaust ready to put on let's get her on there here's what she looks like before she changes all her colors it's a different pattern than normal so we got uh the outside two together or the inside two together and then the outside two together before it goes into one so a slightly different exhaust sound to it we already fired it off and she's loud as fuck you guys will hear that in a moment but uh no tuning just yet we need some more stuff and we haven't even tuned anything pink to orange just from changing the exhaust all right so zero tuning on this exhaust so far and there's over a 15 horsepower gap between the before and now so she went from uh relatively good air fuel above 120 mile an hour up to 180 and fifth to as lean as she was before we put the exhaust on, so down here would normally be controlled by uh, O2 sensors and stuff. They are still hooked up, um, but uh, we gained a gigantic fucking hole. Um, we'll tune that out. But uh, big gains down here at the bottom. All of those are areas that the flapper valve in the exhaust would normally be, uh, you know, choking this bitch up. Um, that's obviously not there anymore. This thing's way too loud for that. And then just gigantic, gigantic freaking gains up there. Uh, I can't wait to tune this. Um, 
you know, it's going to be a few days because we still need some more stuff to get her done. Uh, but Jesus, just off the start, I'm, I'm excited. This, this is going got the next one up on there that one's coming up next but we still got to talk about the cbr and what it just did so it started off with 152 horsepower and 76 foot pounds of torque that is the green line there um was not expecting that low of a number it's you know not very good down low uh, the O2 sensor has complete control up to 120 mile an hour. Um, lean as frick. Um, but, you know, hey, that's the way the factory sets it up. Uh, and then they chop its nuts off at the top, which we all know that. We get the exhaust on there. Uh, exhaust install, no tuning yet, because it turns out it requires a different module than what we expected. Um, you know, well, it doesn't happen to mention that. But, um... Anyway, so we end up with the orange line here, uh, ending up making a 168 horsepower and 82 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was that day. Waited for the box to show up. Uh, we get to tuning 15 uh, pulls into this thing, uh, you know, and we're at 188 horsepower and 80 one uh, foot-pounds of torque there was a slight uh, skew on what the torque reading really is um, that 82 is more like 80 but uh, anyway um, that being said at least all the speed and the horsepower line up correctly um, so we ended up making that much more there um, then we modified the stacks um, and so they start off at a 44 millimeter we board them out to a 52 millimeter uh and that took us from the dark blue line uh to the red line we picked up some down here lost a little up there gained a whole bunch more up at the top and made 195 horsepower and 80 foot pounds of torque uh then we ran it on uh ram air and we made 205 horsepower uh, in the video that you just saw. Um, and uh, yeah, torque is based off of wheel speed. So, you know, that's not the right torque number. But um, yeah, that is the CBR in a nutshell. It was not easy to work on. We ripped a whole bunch of stuff out of the airbox. That uh, foam crap over there came out of the airbox along a huge with pile of shavings, which my wife already cleaned up. But, um, yeah, 205, um, I was expecting more out of it. Uh, I've had some other ones of those, uh, make a little bit higher number than that, but they had the European stacks in them. Apparently the American stacks are just like the regular CBR stacks, uh, where, uh, where they put a restrictor, built it into the stack. Um, but, um, you know, it's not the length of the stack that's wrong. It is the, uh, you know, the restrictor that's built into it. You know to only lose in this one spot here um but gain everywhere else you know i'll take that uh any day that bike's gonna be fast as hell uh look forward to uh hearing back from the client when um after he's done riding at home not what i expected to see inside the anniversary edition we got tall stacks with restrictors built into them uh, we're gonna see if we can get the uh, the foam out the air uh, out the air snorkels 
uh, yeah, this is just like the double R. They're uh, restricting it for the US model. Brilliant. We're already starting to rip out some. We had a foam pad here, foam pad there, and there's all that shit in there. Gonna rip all that out. And it's also got uh, a bunch up in that way. And get the camera angle right. To, uh, we'll get all that out. Well, we're gonna bore these out. Those are gonna get a lot bigger. They're starting off at 44s. We'll take them up to uh, 52s, 51, 52s. That way we get the uh, no more flow restriction. All right, bigger bore stacks for the win. Got those all bored out, 52 millimeter on them. And uh, we'll uh, see what this thing will do.